Hey, what's up everyone? Today I will show you how to blur something in Adobe Premiere 2018. And I know there's already tons of tutorials on how to do this, but they're all so freaking long. I just want to keep it short for you guys. And over the past few years, the methods have changed quite a lot and it has become much easier to achieve this. Okay guys, so I have two clips. One of me sitting still, drinking some kefir, you know. And we want to apply a blur to my face. So first thing we have to do is we have to duplicate it. But as you can see, the video is linked to the audio. We don't want to copy the audio again, so we have to unlink it. Do this by right clicking and clicking on unlink. Now duplicate the video, hold alt and drag it up. There we go. And now search for the Gaussian blur. Let's apply it and just turn the blurriness up to somewhere you like it. 75 is fine. Um, now in earlier versions you had to crop it. You had to apply the crop effect and you had to create a square like this. Oh, wait a minute. You would get something like this. Of course, you would have to fine tune it. But um, in the newer versions of Adobe Premiere, you can just create a mask for the effect, which is awesome. So you can create a square or a circle or you know draw a path, whatever you like. If, for example, we click the square, um, a square gets created, and you can change the mask feather by dragging the little circle and you can also change the mask expansion so that is pretty cool uh, of course you can also change these points you can just drag them around really and since I'm not moving uh, we don't have to make keyframes for this so this will be fine to blur out my face. But on this clip, as you can see, I'm moving around a lot. So I could do the same thing. Again, copy the clip. Apply some Gaussian blur. And we could add this circle. And now we actually have to animate this. So we have to create some keyframes for the mask path. Um, zoom in a little bit. Okay, so go to the end. To move it. Yeah. And now my head is going back again. So let's create another keyframe here. <laughs> it's going too fast. As you can see, this will actually take up quite some time. Um, so I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but I just wanna demonstrate you how it works. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, before you would have to use the Gaussian Blur, um, you would have to make a title to create a mask, or you would have to use the crop effect. But in 2017 and in 2018, you can just apply the Gaussian Blur on a new clip um, turn up the blurriness, just create a mask, maybe add some keyframes if there's some movement in your clip and you're pretty much good to go. So um, that's it. I hope this was useful and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.